Hey guys, what's up? It's Lauren here, and this week on the channel we are doing Q&A videos. Uh, so I have compiled the list of all the Q's that you would like me to A. And I realized while I was writing this list out how I literally never write anything down by hand anymore, and my hand was like cramping up, and there's like 10 questions on here, so that's really sad. I feel like writing things out by hand is something I'm gonna like tell my kids about, and I'd be like, You're so old! Apparently my kids are 95. So question number one, I'm going to start with this one because I guess I should tell you guys. Um, after three years being on the channel and making countless videos on how to do things single because I've always been single, um, I am not single anymore. I have a girlfriend, her name is Lexi, and we are very happy. So, yeah. That's all I'm really gonna say about that. Uh, so yeah, not single anymore. Question number two is from Stephanie Moose Muse. I really hope that is your birth name, by the way. And it is Who Killed Jenny? Um, I'm assuming this is an L Word reference. I don't watch the L Word. I've seen a few episodes. It's not my thing. Um, so, sorry. Bad lesbian, apparently. Question number three is from Xena Fairytale Chick, which also a great name. Um, and it's How Are You? And <clears throat> I was like reading my questions and I was like, that's just such a nice thing to ask someone. Not like a deep, overly personal question, just how you doing? So, I am doing very well, thank you for asking. Um, I'm partially hungover, but I'm doing great. So, thanks for asking. Question number four is from Taylor Fuller. Fuller. I can't read my own writing, told you, hand cramped up. And it is, what is my dream girl? Um, my dream girl is somebody who can make me laugh. Somebody who can get along with my friends. Somebody who hates drama as much as I do. Um, somebody who's a kind person. And somebody who's just really, I feel comfortable with. And I just described my girlfriend. So, good work me. Next question is from Renee Wong. And it is, if I have any superstitions. Um... This one I wanted to answer because I don't have any superstitions and I have so many friends who are so superstitious and do the whole knock on wood thing and the whole pick a penny up thing and no ladders and I don't even know. I am very much so not one of those people. Um, I hate when I'll say something like I've never been in a car accident, which is true. I have never been in a car accident and everyone will be like, you should not say that. You should never say that. And it just drives me crazy because what... I don't want to believe that I live in a universe where if I just state the fact I've never been in a car accident, the universe is going to be like, well, now you have. And just screw me over and T-bone me in the middle of an intersection. That is not the kind of world I want to believe that I live in. And superstitions mean nothing to me, so... No. Next one is from Katie Holland, and it is, uh, are you the dominant one in your relationship? And then in brackets, or lack thereof. Haha. <laughs> this is when you know you've been single for a very long time, is when everybody on the channel just knows me that way. Um, this is kind of like a weird question because me and Lex are pretty even, I would say. I don't know, I think Lex might be the more dominant one. Depends what situation we're talking about, but um, I don't think either one of us is like overly dominant on the other person. We kind of just like get along. She's one of my like best friends, so it works well. And I don't think either one of us is really I, I don't know, maybe Lexi? I don't know. Uh, next one is from Emily Tay, and it is when did I come out to my parents? Um, I came out to my parents when I was 18. Uh, I waited until I had moved out of my house. Uh, when I came out to my parents, I was kind of really nervous because I grew up in kind of like a church Christian home and wasn't sure how it was going to go. Um, so I figured I'd rather be living on my own. And I never thought that they'd kick me out or anything. I just didn't know how comfortable they'd be with it. Um, so I waited till I lived alone, and it was a lot easier, and it went really, really well. And my parents are super, really, super, super supportive, so love them. Uh, the next few questions are anonymous questions from Tumblr, so I don't know who sent them. Um, but the first one is, what is my favorite animal? My favorite animal in general is a fox. I love foxes so much. I think they're the cutest little things ever. And specifically, um, my favorite fox is called a fennec fox. Um, maybe I'll put a picture here. If not, Google it. They're so freaking cute. They have just giant ears and they're just so adorable. I want one. You can have them as pets, I just think it's kind of mean. 
Next one is, what is my favorite kind of liquor? Um, anybody who knows me knows that the answer is tequila to this. Uh, I'm actually not a huge fan of hard liquors. Um, I prefer beer most of the time, but I will choose tequila over anything. I don't know why tequila just like runs through my veins. I'd always, I feel like. I feel like I'm just full of tequila all the time. Tequila will always be my baby. I've never had a bad night on tequila, which surprises most people. Um, I love it. I love tequila. Uh, next one is... Uh, next one is how many tattoos and or piercings do I have and what are they? Um, I have... I just had to count. I have 13 tattoos. Um, a lot of them are smaller. I have seven hand tattoos now, which I do myself. Don't do it. Do not do it. Do not think it's a good idea, because it's not. But I do my own hand tattoos. The other ones I have are one on my bicep that says words fail, music speaks. I have forearm. I feel like I've gone through these so many times. Forearm, this one says if not now, then when. I have the number 18 in Roman numerals on my wrist um, for a lot of reasons. Uh, um, and I have this on my arm. It says give up the life you planned for the life that is waiting for you. That is what my mom said to me when I came out. Um, I have one on my foot, that is the bass and treble clef mixed together. My hand ones, I have a lot of just weird small hand tattoos. Um, I have a triangle, a semicolon, I have a waveform um, for a song for a fan that committed suicide that I wrote. Um, I have the British pound symbol because it looks like an L and I was born in England. That's one of my favorite ones. I have an anchor on the inside of my finger, if you can see. I have an arrow on my middle finger. This is a horrible camera right now. I hate this laptop. And I have the Harry Potter glasses. I don't know if you can see that one either. No. I have the Harry Potter glasses with the little lightning bolt over top on my middle finger. And then I have a cross on the end of Gossam. It's on my middle finger as well. Um, so yeah, those are all my tattoos. I have... Oh, how many piercings do I have? I have this one. Um, my ears are spaced to 14 millimeters. I have my nose. Uh, I just took my eyebrow out recently. And I have my nipple. So yeah. So that is it for my video this week. I hope you guys have a great rest of the week, and I will see you guys all next Saturday. Bye!